Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me for today's episode. On today's episode, we're going to be repairing the snowplow that we built exactly one year ago. Right now, it's snowing outside, the state plows are going by, and i got to get outside and start plowing. But first things first, we want to maintain our equipment. As you can see, this plow has a slight arc in the front uh, where it mounts to the bucket on the tractor. I'm going to go ahead and draw this side back up into shape, and I'm going to weld some cross bracing from here down to the corner to keep it from doing this again. Stay with me while I'll show you what I do. Now I want to see exactly how far I have to bring this side back up to have it perfectly straight again. So I'm going to go ahead and use my level as a straight edge so I can take a measurement to see how far up I'm going to have to draw the end of this particular rod right here. It looks like I'm going to have to move it up about two and a half to three inches. So I'm going to go ahead, get to come along, wrapped around this, get the blowtorch out, and start feeding this angle right here where it's bent so I can start drawing this back up into shape with a come along. Now that I have this come along set up on here already, I'm ready to go ahead and start heating this angle up and drawing it back up into shape. I'm going to be using the blowtorch to heat this part right here. As I have pressure already on the come along, it'll start to draw itself up as it heats up. I'm going to draw this nice and slow so I don't take all of the temper out of this metal. for not throwing things out that I feel that might be useful sometimes in the future. This is one of those times where I'm really glad that I didn't throw something out and I decided to hang on to it. This is the back half of the snow plow that I bought last year that I built the plow for the tractor out of. I decided to hold on to this because I still had some good tubular steel pieces on it as well as some good hardware that I might be able to use in the future. Well, because I've saved this, I'm able to use the same tubular steel that the snow plow is made out of to weld up the bracketry and the cross bracing to make this a little bit stronger so it doesn't go and get bent one more time. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the angles on this that I want and get ready to start welding it to the plow frame. part of the project. Now with the rust removed, we're going to go ahead and get the bracing in here clamped into place. I now have the welder all set up, everything's ready to go, everything's clamped, I have good clean spots to make my weld. I'm going to go ahead and get this done, you guys can sit back and watch me work. So as you can 
can see, the snow's coming down. I gotta get this plow back to the garage, get it put on tractor, and get some plowing done. I have a long night ahead of me. So I'm gonna say so long for now. Thanks for joining me, guys. I hope to see you soon on my next episode. Until then, bye bye.